So the survey that you conducted has name and address? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, it does. And how many people? The first out? survey, the number was what? Over 200. 200. Over 200. Okay. Our petition is over 300. Okay. And how many people live in Jefferson Chalk? Oh, no. Every last one of them. I mean, how many people? Uh, so that's seven, a number we're going to ask thousand. you. Seven, oh, seven oh, thousand. Seven oh, thousand. Oh, mm -hmm. So we have a survey that says there are about 300 people who have expressed their opinion. We probably have a, a survey that has at least another 100, if not more. Yep, yeah. Right. So are we saying that that's the majority opinion? No. To speak. I think the most important thing that happens if you're doing um, changes, recommendations that are going to affect people who live there is to get everyone's voice heard, not, you know, not a minority of folks. Well, you can be and sure just, there's no intention to insult well, anyone because like, we wouldn't be here. It, it seems uh, like it, there's an intention, no. and I'm going to yeah. tell you why. And I, I've done this many, many times before, and I must admit, I've done it in communities that were willing. They cared so much mm, about the investment that was being made mm -hmm. that playing, they would playing, take the hour. Mm -hmm. They would take the hour mm -hmm. and say, I'll, I will sit down with my neighbor for 30 minutes and fill out a survey. So, and I don't think that is doing we did it, and so we're still you doing it. Wait, don't you if you if you believe that two thousand folks in your neighborhood really should be consulted, as I do, then we have to figure out a way to get that done. And it's as simple as that. And I'm happy, happy to work with you to figure out a way to do it, because I know that uh, we need to hear from everyone to make sure that a you know section of the community is not making the decisions on behalf of it. Us to do. And what do you do? I'm just asking. Uh, as when you don't, because uh, we have to work through consensus. We have to work through what a uh, majority of residents want. We cannot obviously answer to every uh, need that everyone has. And there will always be folks who may not agree with the majority. That, uh, because I have worked with community groups that were willing to work with me. And they have seen it as part of their sense of civic of, duty to, to do it just the way people will come up and speak at a city council meeting mm -hmm. uh, or other venues that they're given okay. um, so it is it wasn't an affront to the, the residents that I've worked with who said I'd gladly take information yeah, because to my neighbors because I know them better than you do because but if you don't think that is that you, you don't think that is the right way to do it I am no, open. Okay. I'm open to other ways of it's, doing it. But when, if you do uh, get the recommendations uh, from a majority of residents and you don't like them, um, I think there's a certain responsibility to respect oh, what people certainly. have said. Certainly. When, if you do uh, get the recommendations uh, from a majority of residents and you don't like them, um, I think there's a certain responsibility to respect oh, what people certainly. have said. Certainly. When, if you do uh, get the recommendations uh, from a majority of residents and you don't like them, um, I think there's a certain responsibility to respect oh, what people certainly. have said. Certainly. Yeah. Using the term disrespect is, it, is the, the antithesis of what we're doing. But you know, the reality is, um, we have made a commitment to invest in the, you know, public assets in the neighborhood: the Who's streets, um, parks, um, mm -hmm. things where everyone can enjoy their outcome. Mm -hmm. That we have identified uh, Jefferson Chalmers as a place. Um, we would we would like to do that investment. It, it it doesn't it you know it doesn't have to happen. It, it really doesn't. Uh, if that is a, something that the community feels is not producing a benefit to their um, to their area, I I think um, I don't think the I I do not think the majority of residents of Jefferson Thomas does not do not want to see public investments and upgrades in the neighborhood. That is not what right. so 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that. So when you say, does any of this have to happen? No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't have to happen.
Do we need uh, a bridge and it's over not, troubled waters? Is that a threat? I accept uh, the observation that we have not reached everyone uh, and that there is no consensus yet about how those investments should be made. I am uh, happy uh, to work with you all to find a way that uh, works for you. I mean, that's the commitment I'm, I'm, I'm making. And so that's not a threat. Man. I think the whole nature of uh, coming up to any kind of collective you know, direction is going to be uh, compromised. There's going to be some folks who are, are not happy and the folks who are happy. Uh, and I understand that trust, trust is, is earned. And, uh, well, let's, let's spend some time building that trust. Okay. I'm happy to do that. So, uh, this is Director Maurice yes. we do need, because in, in the interest of time, a date that we can come back and meet with you with an agenda. Right. Well, I want to meet with um, a larger group than this. <laughs> I appreciate your... your, 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 your